Welcome back to another episode of Ask Property Radar. This is a question we get quite often. How do you find the real estate LLC owner? Now, some sites are going to want to charge you two to three hundred dollars a month to access this information, and sometimes it's just you need it at one shot, and it's oftentimes free. Also called piercing the corporate veil, finding the owner of an LLC, skip tracing, find a corporation owner. This video will hopefully help you not spend that kind of money for something that you may already have access to or you can get for free. Why would you want to do this? Well, marketing to an owner instead of a generic entity name is a sure way to make your marketing a little bit more sticky. Marketing to the residence of an owner instead of the office. While everybody is sending generic names in the name of the LLC to an office that's going to have a gatekeeper, you could be marketing to somebody's residence directly with their name making it far more personal and hopefully a lot more sticky. Or you could be researching a lot of opportunities based on an owner because some people who really like estate planning could own multiple entity entities and you could be working with somebody with multiple entities, each with multiple properties. It's good to know who you are dealing with. So real quick, this is going to be a link that I'm going to be referencing in the video. It's bit.ly forward slash SOS research. It's a property radars link. It's in our help center where you're going to be able to find all the links to the secretary of state websites for every state to do research on entities. We'll get to that in just a moment. So I've gone into property radar and I've done a quick search in Riverside, California for multifamily five plus units. So apartment buildings. I'm, I live in Riverside. I know it very well. Downtown happens to be an entire opportunity zone. Um, this is the Mission Inn, the libraries downtown. It's very walkable. I really like the opportunities down there. So I'm clicking around. I'm finding, okay, you know, who owns what, how long have they owned it, all that kind of good stuff. And I find one, okay, what's this one? And I see that there's an LLC involved. And sure enough, look at that. We don't have the phone number or an email. Now, don't give up quite yet. Inside Property Radar, go to Property, go to Transactions, and there's a good chance you're going to find at least the ownership name in the loan document. There's a loan here. Did you know that you can actually purchase the document and you may be able to see the ownership address in there? Fantastic. You don't even have to go anywhere else. But I don't want to stop there. I want to show you maybe some other tools that you didn't know exist. There's this little drop down here that you may have been ignoring. So you can search Google, California Secretary of State, and that's where we're going now. So let's go over to California Secretary of State. I want to copy the entity. I'm going to jump that link within Property Radar. It takes you directly to where you can search for entities on the California Secretary of State. I'm going to paste it in there. Lo and behold, yep, there it is. It's an active entity. It's created in 2019. Oh, great. Agent of process is legal zoom. Fantastic. Well, let's dig in and see what we can find. Well, the entity address apartment number. Yeah, that's not legal zoom. So there's a better chance that this entity address has to do with one of the owners of the LLC. Um, so let's look at the statement of information for the entity. What's great about the California um, Secretary of State website is it does have the PDF information for things like the statement of information. There we see the address again and lo and behold, it looks like, yep, we have one of the managing members, Kishan Patel, and this is an address that he's associated with that's probably going to be a residential address. If I keep scrolling down, I can find other people associated with this entity, but I've accomplished what I've come to find. I wanted to find at least the name, and it looks like we may have the address uh, for where he's living. Another tool that I like to use is Corporation Wiki. And for one specific reason, um, what's cool about Corporation Wiki is it tells you really quickly if they're associated with any other entities. Um, it doesn't always work, but it's one of my favorite tools to quickly do some research. So right away, I can see, yep, there's Sean. We found him before. If I click on him, nope, looks like he's just associated with um, one entity. Um, it looks like I've got uh, Kishan and Krishna, um, so maybe somebody else. So if you're into marketing to different people within entities, maybe a different approach you can take. I'll give you an example where this is really powerful um, for larger corporations if you're trying to hunt down people. I'll give you an example of Open Door, which of course went public in 2020. Eric Wu is the CEO. If I click on Eric, I can see he's associated with 15 different companies. That's really cool to know. And you can end up going down here, scrolling down, and here's just a sample. Um, you do have to create a free account if you want to see a bunch of information, but right out of the gate, I can see the different uh, entities that they're associated with, which is really great. So. Armed with that information at either the Secretary of State website or a site like uh, whatever, Google, 
corporation wiki, you can go back to property where you are and maybe a step that you've missed is doing a lookup. Lookup you can search by person or property. So if I wanted to search him, uh, I could type in his name and he could, uh, maybe I could find his residence, uh, his actual residential address. And oftentimes it's a, a residential address. We may end up having the email and the phone number there. You don't have to look any further, which is great. Um, I can also look up that property address that we found to see if we can find any information. It's an apartment address, so I don't think we're going to find it there. But maybe he's got another home somewhere else where we can. Obviously, the more unique the name, the easier it is going to be to find. Sometimes if you've got a, a Jamie Smith, um, you're going to end up with a lot of different uh, names. But you know what? Some creative ways to where you can find that information and not have to spend a couple hundred dollars to get that information, especially if you just need it one off. Hopefully that helped, and I will leave the link to the Secretary of State websites, uh, that bit.ly link, so you can access 